What's up everyone? Today I want to talk about chest anatomy. So the chest is made up of two muscles, the pectoralis major and the pectoralis minor. Now the pectoralis major is this large fan-like muscle, pretty much makes up your whole entire chest. The pectoralis minor, even though it's considered a chest muscle, lies underneath the pectoralis major and you can't see it visibly from the surface. Now the pectoralis major has two heads, those being the clavicular head and the sternocostal head. Now as you might have guessed from their names, the sternocostal head originates from the sternum. It also has two other points of origin, but for the sake of the video, let's just say that the sternocostal head originates from the sternum, whereas the clavicular head originates from the clavicle. Now, the clavicular head of the pectoralis major would be considered your upper chest. The sternocostal head would be considered your middle and lower chest. So overall, the pectoralis major as a whole, both the sternocostal and the clavicular head, has two functions. The first function being humeral adduction. So what does this mean? So if you take your two arms and you bring them together, this is humeral adduction. This is the function of the pectoralis major as a whole. The other function of the pectoralis major is medial rotation of the humerus. So if you take your arm and you rotate it inwards medially, that's another function of the pec major. Now if you look at the two heads separately, we'll start with the clavicular head. The clavicular head has a specialized function, and this is flexion of the humerus. So what does that mean? If you put your arms out in front of you, and then you flex them up, if you bring them upwards, this is humeral flexion. This is a function of the clavicular head of the pectoralis major. So this is the function of the upper chest. If you look at the sternocostal head, you put your arms out and you bring them down, this is humeral extension. This is the function of the sternocostal head, or the specialized function of the sternocostal head of the pectoralis major. Now, if you want to train both the clavicular and the sternocostal head, what would be some good exercises? So I'm going to break this down into exercises for the clavicular or the upper chest and for exercises of the sternocostal head of the chest. Now, we could break the sternocostal head into both the middle and the lower chest, but realistically, if you do any sort of horizontal pressing, your middle chest, I guarantee, will be developed. This is usually not a problem. So, let's start with the clavicular head. If we think back to the specialized function of the clavicular head of the pectoralis major, that being humeral flexion, what does this position look like? An inclined press. So, a great way, or the way to train the clavicular head of the pectoralis major would be a press on a shallow incline. Personally, I think an incline dumbbell press is preferable to a barbell, a barbell incline press only because Dumbbells allow you to work isolaterally, unilaterally, and also they have a greater range of motion. But that's just an opinion. Now, if we look at the sternocostal head, we think about back to its specialized function. What is that? Extension of the humerus. So what does this position look like? A decline press of some sort. So once again, here I would suggest dumbbells on the decline to develop the lower chest. Now, if we want to look at some isolation movements, we have fly variations. So a fly variation that would be a great idea to build up the clavicular head or the upper chest would be low to high cable flies. And a great, a great fly variation for the sternocostal head would be high to low cable flies. So that's the video guys. If you like the video, comment and like the video. I'd appreciate it. And if you want to subscribe, that'd be even better. I'll see you guys in the next video. Ready, aim, fire.